I've always noticed this part of my bed was squeakier than the rest. I examined the mattress and felt something unusual buried beneath. I lifted it up and discovered a strange mannequin figure along with a mysterious red envelope. Little did I know the truth behind this mannequin was far more disturbing than I could have ever imagined. Before we begin, I just want to say I really appreciate every single one of you who watches and support the videos. For anyone new to this channel, I put together a playlist with 60 other stories. There's a link in the description down below. So if you enjoy this story, which I know you will, make sure to check out the rest. And as always, after you finish the story, don't forget to drop a comment down below and let me know your favorite part. I would love to know. Okay. Now without further ado, you smell that? Yeah. It smells like a mystery and chicken egg farts and flamingo rhinoceros and platypus hippopotamus tyrannosaurus egg farts buffalo egg farts velociraptor and egg tarts okay and chimpanzee giraffe monkey pterodactyl egg farts and egg rolls pig egg farts and egg shards tarts farts Today I found something that makes me never want to go to sleep again I've always noticed this part of my bed was squeakier than the rest listen I examined the mattress and felt something unusual buried beneath. I peeled off the bed sheet and noticed there was a mysterious red arrow pointing inside. I lifted it up and underneath my chicken bed, I discovered a strange mannequin figure along with a mysterious red envelope. You're not gonna believe what was inside. Inside the envelope were a set of instructions. Twist the mannequin head and wait. I twisted the head with caution and after two hours of watching the paint dry, that night as I was farting in my dreams, something strange happened. I woke up immediately and jumped out of bed like my pants had fart stains. I approached the mannequin with anxious poo-poo, and that's when I noticed something very unusual. I peeled off the red tape, and on the body of the mannequin, there was a letter M. What could this mean? I decided to do some research and found an article about a paranormal missing persons case back in 2012. Apparently, a little girl complained about a dark presence in her room and no one believed her. But on the fourth day, she mysteriously went missing and buried underneath her bed, they found a wooden figure. Could this mannequin actually be haunted? But before that, real quick, if you're a fan of murder mysteries, you're gonna love this. Today's video is sponsored by June's Journey. June's Journey is a free to download mobile game where you find hidden objects to help solve a murder. Each levels, you'll find hidden clues that will get you further and further through a thrilling murder mystery. With a captivating detective story taking you back to the glamour of the 1920s and a diverse cast of characters, join the quest along with me and help June Parker solve the murder of her sister and uncover her family's hidden secrets. Download June's Journey today for free by clicking the link in the description down below or scanning the QR code on the screen. It's available on Android and iOS mobile devices as well as PC through Facebook games. After playing the game, for a while, I'm actually having a really fun time playing it. It's something I've been having a lot of fun doing in my free time when I have a few minutes to spare and want to relax a bit before bedtime. I absolutely love the beautiful graphics and the story is actually quite fun with romance, intrigue, and mystery all in one. June's Journey is the thrilling adventure you've been waiting for. Make sure to click the link in the description down below or scan the QR code to download June's Journey for absolutely free today. And with that, let's get back to the story. I checked the mannequin, and there was another letter. What on earth was going on? Bing, bing, bing. Brain blast. So apparently, there were a series of similar missing persons cases, with the first case dating back to 1967. The first paranormal case was Mark White, a man who was supposedly experimenting with voodoo magic, but something went horribly wrong and an entity much more insidious was released, trapping himself in a wooden mannequin. According to legends, he had been absorbing people's souls slowly to gain enough spirits to be released. 19 missing persons has been confirmed firm so far. According to my mom, he needs one more spirit to be set free. So if my calculations are correct, once the victim's name is fully spelt on the body of the mannequin, their souls will be trapped into the wooden doll forever. 
That means two more letters and it's over for me. I had to figure out a way to stop this. But first, it was time to suit up. My grandfather obsessed over these cases. He kept a stack of secret documents hidden away. In my grandfather's notes, he vaguely talks about a reversal spell to break the bonds of voodoo magics. According to my grandfather, if I gather all these ingredients, 10 milliliters of virgin holy water, from your washroom, a tin of the smallest petite egg rolls, two pieces of the victim's finest nose hairs, and lastly, but most importantly, one jar of pickled farts dry aged exactly 69 days. Mix it all together, drink it. And when you wake up, the spell will be lifted. There's no sight of the mannequin. The curse must be broken. Thank goodness. I got all the ingredients correct in the right order. Or so I thought. Oh god. If you want to solve your own murder mystery, click the link in the description to download June's Journey today. The other day I snuck under the tapes of a crime scene and noticed something unusual buried in the dirt. So I grabbed a shovel and dug like a chicken and discovered a mysterious Egyptian sarcophagus. Little did I know the backstory behind this crime scene was far more disturbing than I could have ever imagined.